team leaders can be set up to approve timesheets and leave requests for staff. If you've been sent a login username and password by PaySource, go to the paysource.com website. Click on the login button on the top right and enter your details and click on the login button. Straight away you'll be able to see the staff that are under your leadership. We've got three here. You won't be able to view anything to do with the payments for the staff, but you'll be able to see their hours recorded and also look at the leave that they've requested. First I'm going to click on Alan Arden. And at the top of the screen I've got three little icons. The second icon represents timesheets, so I'll select that. And on the right I can see that Alan's recorded his time for the week. Over on the right there's also an edit pencil. When I select that, I can see that I've got an approve button. So if I'm satisfied that those times are correct, then I click approve. That's all I have to do for Alan. Next I'll go to Rebecca. Same thing. That's good. Approve. And Jeremy. Happy with that. I can make changes if I want to, but I'm satisfied that those were correct. The next thing I can see is leave requests. And that's this button up here next to the timesheet icon. Leave calendar. When I select the leave calendar, I can see October. I'm just going to move to November with this arrow here. And scrolling down, I can see that we have a pending leave request. We've got the pending here. I want to see if there's any other time already approved, so I'm going to click the arrow and choose Approved as well. Straight away I can see that we have Alan Arden has got some annual leave that he's been approved to take and so has Rebecca. But here we have Jeremy's leave request overlapping Rebecca's. I can click on any of these to view the details as well. I can see that Alan Arden's has been approved, nothing much to see about that, and Rebecca's it's showing that she's flying to Vanuatu for a wedding. That's the note that she put in. So when I look at Jeremy, I don't know why he wants to take that leave. I don't know if he's going to have it or not. So I'm going to close that and see what leave he's got available straight away. If I click on his name on the left and go to the left hand icon on this little panel, it gives me the details of his balances over here. When I have a look at his balances for leave, I can see that he doesn't have anything left for annual leave. He's actually gained leave and he's taken a lot of leave. So he has nothing left. He's actually on zero. So that gives me the answer that I needed. I go back to Jeremy's name, click on the leave calendar again, go back to November. I'll select Jeremy's request and I'm going to choose refuse and put in there Sorry, you don't have enough leave, and other have taken the same time off. So there's two reasons why he can't have that leave, and click OK. Right, now I can see it under the declined list. So we can see a little cross there next to Jeremy's name, and a tick next to Rebecca's and Alan, so I can see that those are both approved. Jeremy will receive the notification back on his cell phone, on his PaySource phone app, that his leave has been declined. And he can re-enter it if he has a really good case for it. If I go back to the little button on the left hand side of the timesheets, I'm back on the normal screen. There's nothing much else I can do here, but I can log out from the top. If I want to use my PaySource phone app, to approve and decline the leave and also approve the timesheets, I can do that as well. So if I want to use my PaySource phone app to approve the timesheets and the leave, I'll just use my same login that I've been sent by PaySource that I could use on the web. So I enter in the email and the password and the first time I log in this way, I'm going to be setting the PIN number and confirming it. Now I'm in. Right. Straight away, if I want to approve the timesheets, I'll go to Payroll in the top left hand corner. And I can see the three staff who have their time already loaded. Up in the red bar at the top, you have a bit of a menu. You can see three pending on the left there. If I touch on Rebecca's name, 
I can see the time she's recorded. If I want to edit it, I just touch on the edit button just in the middle and I can add more time in if I want. Or I can take it away as well. If I use the back button on the top left, it'll take me back to that screen and I can approve by touching on the approve button at the very bottom. Next it's taken me straight to Jeremy's details. I'm happy with those hours, they seem about right, so I'm going to approve those at the bottom. And then I can see Alan's as well. And don't forget you can drill down into those hours by clicking on the edit button as well. So I approve those and we're done. I'm using the arrow at the very top now in the left hand corner to go back to the main menu. And I can see now that we have three approved at the top. If I want to have another look at those, I just touch on the three approved at the top. And that shows me them and I can go back in and have another look. But I'm using my back button again on the left to go back to the main screen. Now if I want to have a look at the leave requests, up on the top right I can touch on leave. This is going to let me have a look at whatever's been requested. I can see that Rebecca's requested three days in November, at the beginning of November. These are the details here I can read through and I'm happy with that. I'm going to touch approve at the bottom. That's done. Now in a few seconds I'll be able to go back to the main screen with the back arrow and I can see that we've got three approved now in the middle of the bar at the top. If I want to have a bit more look of a look at that, I touch on the three approved and I can see the details just by tapping on their names. I can look at the declined one as well. I'm using the arrow to go back to the side again. The settings at the bottom will allow me to log out and allow me also to link this profile to my own personal employee profile if I want to. If I touch on linked accounts, up on the top right I can click the plus button and add in my personal email as my employee lo uh, login and choose permanent link when I've put those details in. And what that will allow me to do is have two profiles on one login so I won't need to log out and in again as the employee. I can stay on the same one and record my own timesheets. I'm going to click on the top arrow on the left to get back to the main screen now. Here we are. That's it.